will subscribe to my channel. Hey there, everybody. Uh, today I wanted to honor a request from uh, social media, and this request was to show you how to create a program in Python that will send emails. So this is uh, actually quite easy. Uh, so what we're going to be using is the simple mail transfer protocol. So that is a simple mail transfer protocol. And what this does, it handles sending email and routing email between mail servers. Uh, so all we have to do is import S-M-T-P-L-I-B, okay? So that's what simple mail transfer protocol is, okay? So I've got that imported, and then I'm also gonna be using uh, email.message. Uh, this kind of helps with the S-M-T-P-L-I-B. This sets objects so that we can set a subject, we can set who the email's from, who the email's to, and then the actual email message itself. So I'm going to say from email dot message import email message. Okay, so we're going to be using that function, and I don't want to write email message every single time because I'm going to be using it a lot. So I'm going to say msg message, and I'm just going to set that to my email message, which is a function. So like I was saying before email message here is a dictionary okay so a dictionary if you remember from other videos um, it'll look like this so here's a dictionary and email message has set keys inside of it so it's got something like it's got a subject and it's actually got a empty value it might even be a default value I don't remember and then it's got who it's from and that would just be your email and then it's also got who it's supposed to go to, which will also be an email. So we need to set these values. So you don't have to write this out or anything. I'm just explaining what email message looks like in the back end, okay? Uh, but because now we know what that is, what it looks like, we need to set those keys uh, with some values. So I'm gonna say message at a specific key, and that key which we already saw before, is called subject. So here we can set the subject. So I'm gonna say input function, enter a subject. So that will allow the user to type in the terminal down here and say whatever subject they want their email to say. And then next, I want to set the email from who it's from. Okay, so that'll be pretty easy as well. And you can either <clears throat> hard code this or you can say who it's from in an input function. That's up to you. Um, I actually have my email and password, which I'll need later, uh, set somewhere else in a different file. It's actually over here in my credentials.py file. You don't have to do this, but I did this for the purpose of this demonstration, so you don't actually see my email and password. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to import that. So I'm going to say from credentials import, I called it sender email, comma sender password. And I have those set so that you don't see what my email is. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to say it's going to be from sender email. Okay. So this has my actual email tied to it. And then we're gonna say who the message is to. So I'm gonna say message at to, make sure you have that capitalization. And now I want to send it to someone's email. Uh, for this demonstration, I just wanna make sure it works. So I'm actually gonna send it to my email. So I'm gonna say sender email again. And this can just be a string, if your email happens to be like tom at gmail.com, you just put it in a string like this. Okay, so if that's your email, do it that way. Um, but again, I just got that stored right here. Okay, and then finally, I want to set my message. So I'm going to say message.set 
content and autocomplete even tells me it's right there. And I just want this to be an input function so that the user can just type in whatever they want. So I'm just gonna say enter a message. Okay. So my next credentials, it's going to have um, it's going to be asking for what your email is and as well as your password because the simple mail transfer protocol, it needs to connect to a server and I'm going to be using Gmail's server. And so I got to give it credentials to my email account so that it can actually send this email. So set a sender email to whatever your email is. Okay. And again, for this for the purposes of this, I've already got that set, okay? So that you don't see what my email is. And then I'll do sender password, which I've already got stored as well so that you can't see my password. So when you enter these, uh, this will actually be a string. So if your password is password, then it would look like this. Okay. Next, we are going to send the message via our own SMTP server. So I'm going to set a new variable called server. And I'm just going to say smtplib.smtp underscore SSL. And this is going to set, this is going to tell my program which server to use. Um, and like I said before, I'm just going to be using Gmails. So I'm going to say smtp.gmail.com. This will also take a port and I found that this part works pretty well. So I'm gonna say 465. Um, you can use other ports if you find a better one you can, but this one works for me. Now I'm going to log into my Gmail account. So I'm gonna say server.login. So that's gonna take in my email. So I'm gonna say sender email, comma, my password. So sender password. Next, I want to send my message so I'm going to say server dot send message. Autocomplete has it there. And it's just going to be my message. Okay. So it's going to take that entire object or sorry, uh, dictionary. Okay. So all these that I set, uh, now it's going to send this whole thing with those all filled out from your subject, who it's from, who it's to, as well as the message. And so that's going to send everything. So once that sends, I want to quit the server. So I'm going to say server dot quit. And that should be everything for that program. So it wasn't too hard. Now let's see if this even works. Uh, let's see, I'll hit run here. And you can see it says enter a subject. So I'm gonna say testing my new program. When I hit enter, it says enter a message. So hello from salty killer. Okay, and it says process finished with exit code zero, so that should work. And I just looked at my email and I just got it. So let's switch over to my email real quick. Okay, and here it is. So here's my subject testing my new program and it says hello from Salty Killer. So that's working really well. Now the first time that I ran this, it didn't work. It sent me this message saying that a sign in attempt was blocked. It's because of the security of Gmail. So if you ever get that, you can just go here to check activity. You can say, yes, that was me. Uh, it might even take you to a web page that looks like this. Okay, it was saying less secure app was blocked. So that's talking about our Python app that we just made. Uh, you, if you do get that, this is all up to you. Okay, but you can go to learn more and there we go. Uh, it should take you here, uh, it says less secure app access. So you can go here and you can actually turn it on. If you turn it on, that will allow your Python program to send emails, okay? So that's up to you. Uh, if you want your Gmail to be more secure, then you can turn this off. Uh, so I would recommend maybe not using your actual Gmail account, maybe create a new one for the purposes of sending emails through your applications. And then you can, and just don't use it for anything else, just use it for this and you can turn that on. Uh, so that way you will get the emails, but that worked just fine. So if you have any questions or any 
requests for future tutorials, please let me know down in the comments. If you do like these videos, please go ahead and like and subscribe so that you're notified whenever I come out with a new video. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I will talk to you later. Happy coding.